Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to Logic, open the score editor with the notation that you have. This is a beginner bass drum exercise, kind of like a pyramid exercise that I have for one of my videos. And what we're going to do is we're going to screenshot this so we can put it into the video of the lesson. So here's my cursor. I start with it a measure or two behind. After you have that set up, go to your QuickTime player, open it. This box pops up. You can close that, go to File, select New Screen Recording, and you press this red button right here. It says click to record full screen or drag to record part of the screen. We are going to drag to record just like this. Okay, you can press start recording. Go down to your logic icon, press that to put that in front, and then you press the space bar for playback to start. Now it's just a matter of waiting. For the recording. Okay, that's your screen recording. Press the space bar to stop playback. And you go up here and stop your QuickTime player. Then you can press the red X. It'll prompt you to save it. I'm going to save this beginner bass drum 90 BPM. And that is the first part of capturing your notation. Next, I'll show you how to put it into the video. Okay, now what I'm going to do is show you guys how to take that screen recording we did of our notation and put it into your video clip. So the first thing you have to do is go to your desktop or wherever you saved that recording and just drag it in. So mine's on my desktop. I'll just drag it in like this. I'm going to place it over the clip of me playing. You can expand your iMovie. So now you'll notice that the notation's covering up your video clip and it's definitely not what we want. So what you have to do is go to where it says cutaway here. You might have to press this box first. Next, change it to picture in picture. And here's where I was messing up before. I was trying to adjust this and figure out how to resize it, but it kept wanting to be proportional, and that's not what I wanted. So I figured out you had to go to your cropping tool, press that, change it to fit, and then press the cropping tool again. So then you get this. So to make that <clears throat> eligible to change sizes, you have to double-click the notation down here, and you get your markers. Next, what you do is you just drag the notation into place where you want it in the screen. And then you can set it up size-wise how you want it. So for me, I'm going to go just like this. So it spreads across the bottom screen there. Now, what you have to keep in mind is your notation is in place, but your audio is not going to line up. You're not going to want to use your audio from your screen recording because it's not going to sound good. So you're going to want to use the audio you recorded for your video clip. And keep in mind also, to make these line up, you're going to have to use a metronome and stay on time or they're not going to sync. So the next thing I do is, 
enlarge the screen a little bit for the movie trailer down here. And I go and I try to find my little marker. So right there's a spike. Hear that? That'd be my first base. Maybe a little bit behind like that. I'm going to go to modify split clip. This portion selected here, I'm going to get rid of that. Make this small again. Drag it over. And what you have to do is you have to line the spike from that first bass drum up with the spike from the bass drum of your actual audio recording. And we already have the audio recording and our video in sync, so they're good. We have to make this one move over a little bit. So I have some markers already set up here. That's just a matter of waiting. So what you're hearing now, you're hearing the screen recording audio and my normal audio that I want to keep. So I'm going to lower the screen recording all the way to zero. I'm going to see how it plays. a little bit off so let me adjust this up a little bit more and that's it it's as simple as that it's not too bad once you figure it out you'll be on your way all right guys thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel lots more lessons coming uh, drum lessons transcriptions blogs, etc. So thank you for all of your support.